Hi everyone, and welcome back. In this video, we're going to put our knowledge of geometric series to use. The question is, does this series, the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of 3 to the 2k, 5 to the 1 minus k, divided by 2 to the k, does this converge or diverge? If it does converge, can you tell me the sum? We know the geometric series will show up somewhere in this problem, right? So it'll be helpful to recall a couple important facts from the overview. Specifically, if we are trying to sum the terms a r to the k from k equals 0 to infinity, that sum will converge to a over 1 minus r when the absolute value of the common ratio is less than 1, and it will diverge when the absolute value of the ratio is bigger than or equal to 1. Back to our problem, we are trying to analyze the convergence of this series, which sort of looks like a geometric series, right? We have powers of 3, powers of 5, powers of 2, but it's not exactly of the form a times r to the k. So maybe our first goal should be to rewrite this expression to look a little bit more like the geometric series that we have above. So let's start by looking at that 3 to the 2k term. Ideally, I'd like some number to the power of k appearing in my series. So I'm going to go ahead and break this up as 3 squared to the k. Uh, similarly, for the 5 term, I'll break that up as 5 to the 1 times 5 to the minus k. Okay, starting to look a little bit more like a geometric series. Finally, I'll leave that 2 to the k term alone. It looks fine as is. How can we simplify this expression? Well, let's see. I could pull that 5 term out front. I'd have 5 times uh, 9 to the k. And then I'm going to move this 5 to the minus k term to the denominator. That's going to give me 2 to the k times 5 to the k. Now we're starting to look a lot more like a geometric series, right? I could write this as the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of 5 times 9 over 10 all to the power of k. Okay, after a bit of work, we've managed to rewrite our series to more closely resemble the geometric series given above. From this form, we can see that we have a common ratio of 9 over 10. And since this is less than 1 in absolute value, our series is going to converge. The question now becomes, what's the sum of the series? Well, according to our formula, it should simply be a over 1 minus r. We know that r is 9 over 10 and a is 5, right? So 5 over 1 minus 9 tenths? Not quite. Notice the subtle difference between our series and the geometric series given above. They start at 0, but we are starting at 1. Notice that this really isn't a big deal when it comes to convergence. I could change one term, two terms, or really any finite number of terms from my series, and if it converged before, it will still converge. If it diverged before, it will still diverge. So our conclusion here is still valid. We still have a convergent series. The point, though, is that if we use this formula blindly, we likely will get the wrong sum. So we should be careful here. We have a couple options. One thing that we could do is add and subtract the k equals 0 term to make our sum look a little bit more like this. When I set k equal to 0, I get 5 times 1. So I could add in 5 and subtract 5 to get something like this. Minus 5 plus the sum from 0 to infinity of 5 times 9 tenths to the k. Now I really could use my formula here, I just have to remember to subtract 5. Now I'm actually going to show you a different way to handle this sum. As an exercise, use our geometric series formula and confirm that what you get is the same as what I get. So although our series is a little bit different from what we have up here, we can still use this formula if we think of it in a slightly different way. If we think of the formula as just the first term of the series divided by 1 minus the common ratio, then the formula will still apply. Our common ratio here is 9 tenths, and our first term is not 5, it's 5 times 9 tenths to the 1. My sum is therefore given by 5 times 9 tenths, that's what I get by setting k equals 1, divided by 1 minus 9 tenths. If I simplify this, I have 5 times 9 tenths divided by 1 tenth, that leaves me with 5 times 9, and I have a final answer of 45. 